Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. This weekend's big Premier League match actually takes place on Friday night where Arsenal will host Liverpool. Neither side's in the title race, but both are looking to finish in the top four this season. Liverpool have been in great form over the past few weeks, scoring goals for fun, but actually tightening up their defense. Whereas Arsenal haven't looked that great and are struggling in front of goal and are looking to make a statement against a Liverpool side that have embarrassed them over the past few years. So on this edition of the interviews, I'm going to preview Liverpool against Arsenal. So Friday night football doesn't get better than this. Arsenal, Liverpool, Reds, Gunners, Klopp, Wagner. We expect goals and we shouldn't expect too many changes. When we get to the board, we got Arsenal in the red. We got Liverpool in the blue. Arsenal have played in a 4-3-3 over the past few weeks. It hasn't really worked to the effect that they've expected it to or they've wanted it to, but they've squeaked out results. And I guess that's the big thing that matters. Um, when we look up front, Olivier Giroud's unfit so he won't play which means Lacazette will finally get the start there shouldn't really be a question as to whether Lacazette should start but he scored goals in big games he finds ways to get that done so he will be up front you do expect Alexis to be on the left on the right it could be Alex Wolby who has started in few in recent weeks or it could be Danny Welbeck depending on what Wagner is looking for here that will be the big selection and then in midfield Francis Coughlin is unavailable, which means, and so is Aaron Ramsey, which means that we're probably going to get the midfield that we've gotten over the past few weeks, which is Ozil, Xhaka, Wilshere. Then at the back, it's really interesting because Koscielny and Monreal have been the center backs, and then right back has been Bellerin, who looks tired. He's really struggled as of late, not at his best, but... With Maitland Niall obviously playing at left back, I don't think Wagner is going to give him the responsibility of dealing with Mo Salah. What he can do is that Mustafi is apparently fit to play, so he may have to throw Mustafi into the waters and then push Monreal out to the left. Or if he wants to keep Monreal at center back, Kolasinac could come in. His strength could cause Salah a few issues, but that's how Arsenal should line up. As for Liverpool, they could actually kind of tweak things here a bit. Um, Klopp has done a good job of rotating the side, and that's why Liverpool have actually performed well over the past few weeks. They've only conceded two goals in the past six games in all competitions. Both were penalties. They look like they're up and coming. They're scoring goals for fun, and this is probably the wrong time for Arsenal to face Liverpool. When we look at their 4-3-3, they could play many different options, and they could put play put players in different roles, but when we look at it here, Sturge is unavailable. Emery Chanish is coming back to fitness, so he may not get the start. When we look at it, we expect Firmino to start up front, Salah and Mane, and then in midfield, they could afford to put Coutinho here because Arsenal's midfield doesn't really have much strength and power. So they can put Coutinho, Wijnaldum, and Henderson, and then at the back, it kind of picks itself with Joel Matip not fit, so you'd have Clavan and Lovren, you'd have Joe Gomez on one flank and on the other flank, you probably think they're going to go with James Milner for the experience rather than Roberson, but you never know. Milner probably is the better fit there and that's probably how Liverpool are going to line up. What is the big factor in this game? Well, when we look at how Arsenal lost their last game at the Emirates, it was due to intense pressing. That is what Liverpool is very good at. So for the opening 10 to 15 minutes, we could see Liverpool try to press them very high, try to force the Arsenal backline into issues that happened against Manchester United and they were down to nothing within the first 10 minutes. So that would obviously be a good ploy for Liverpool to go with, but this Arsenal side is very good at home. We know that and we also have to Remember that when Arsenal played United, David De Gea was the big difference there. Liverpool have been great defensively over the past few weeks. It could be down to playing inferior opposition. But here, you'd probably expect them to be a bit more reserved. Um, and I think they should be a bit more reserved. Arsenal are going to come forward. They're going to want to have the ball. They're going to want to possess the ball. But they don't really have the options in midfield to pretend, ca prevent counterattacks. Jack Wilshere has been very good this season. On his comeback, he's offered penetration. He's kind of been... A great replacement for Aaron Ramsey because they haven't really lost much in that aspect apart from goals that Ramsey could provide but he hasn't really scored them anyways but Ram when you have Wilshere you have Ozil who isn't really renowned for being a ball winner or having the energy to really break up play and could struggle under the press and then Xhaka all alone that could really be an issue Arsenal were 
slaughtered against Liverpool at the start of the season. And that was down to Shaka and Ramsey getting overrun. They don't want that to happen here. And I think that's the reason why Liverpool should play on the counter-attack. When you put their fullbacks, whether it be Kolasinac, whether it be Monreal, whether it be Bellerin, there are Maitland-Niles, they're at a disadvantage against Mo Salah and Sadio Mane. And that's the big thing here. If you push Arsenal and you let them get a bit forward, there's so much space to break into. They're going to try and break in through there. Firmino is going to try and drop into these pucks of space to pull defenders forward so that there's more space for them to come across. And even when we look at the maturity of Mo Salah, who is probably one of our the best Premier League performer this season so far, you got to look at it as that even if Arsenal were to sit deep, which we don't expect them to at home, he's developed this knack to score goals out of nothing. When Salah came to the Premier League, it was all about him being a one-dimensional player that can only play on the counter-attack. When you look at his most recent goals as of late, he is playing with his back to goal, he is getting the ball, he's receiving it, he's shrugging off defenders, he's turning them, and he's curling the ball into the back of the net. There's so much more to Mo Salah than just breaking beyond the lines, that's obviously key, but now, this is why Kolasinac would probably be a better option in terms of holding him up because he's all about brute strength and he may get the physical battle edged out over Salah. So that's obviously a route Arsenal could take. But with Arsenal, you got to look at it this way. Ozil's going to get pressed. Shaq is going to get pressed. Wilshire is going to get pressed. This is a great chance for Jack Wilshire to once again show why he's good at what he does. And that's breaking challenges. That's turning defenders. That's bypassing the pressure. Obviously, we always look back to that one game against Barcelona where he did it to a T a a few seasons ago. Or it feels like a while ago. But basically, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what they're going to expect from Jack. Can also dominate a game from a deeper midfield role where he's getting on the ball more he's playing the first passes the instinctive passes that's key and can Xhaka really be protect can Xhaka be protected can the Arsenal midfield provide him the protection because if Liverpool do choose to play on the counter-attack they're gonna be they're gonna overrun him and then when you look at the Liverpool midfield they have so many options on the counter-attack Coutinho could score goals for fun we already talked about the front three Wijnaldum is huge because when they break he's always the first man breaking into the box and that's key and then when we look at this, who is going to press uh, Jordan Henderson, who's able to dictate the tempo of a game when he doesn't have any pressure on him, and he's really good at that. So is Arsenal going to drop a man back and really apply pressure? Arsenal, on the other hand, they do have options. Alexis Sanchez will love his battle against Joe Gomez. He'll probably fancy that. But Alexis hasn't played well over the past few weeks. He doesn't look like his mind is there. He's really struggled and hasn't provided an impact around the, f- the final third, and they're going to need something from him. And then when you look at Either Milner, which I think should start, or Robertson. If it's Robertson, if he pushes forward, Welbeck can break into those spaces. If not, you still expect something from Welbeck. He's good at retaining the ball. He likes to break beyond the defense. And that's probably the better option, even though Iwobi has showed great close control and has gone to good areas and combined well with teammates. He doesn't offer that goal threat that Arsenal do need up front. And then you have Lacazette. Great poacher. He gets into good positions. He's great with his back to goal. But what Arsenal will want from him more is to kind of stretch the back line. He often plays with his back to goal. Obviously, he wants to bring players into the game and he links play well. But he needs to get into these positions more. He needs to offer more diversity and more uh, different options in terms of his movement because he's not really giving defenders much to think about he's obviously always playing with his back to goal and they're going to need to do more against the Liverpool backline who look more composed as of late and look more organized so that's obviously going to be key who's going to win this game it's tough to tell obviously Liverpool are undefeated against Arsenal under Klopp in the league they've scored at least three goals in every single game and they're going to try to do that again because they're trying to break into that top four and sustain that position and then who stands in their way and Arsenal psych is in their way and to beat them here would cause a big statement but let me know what you guys think meet me in the comments below don't forget i upload videos every week and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that was your daily dose of the interviews